Welcome to the We Are One podcast. In today's episode, we will look at the dark world of the Illuminati. I hope you have your VPN connected. <laughs> because they're watching you. Oh, we're live. So we are to- live. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, welcome to the We Are One podcast. Got MJ and uh, the grand architect himself, Ken. And uh, we're going to talk a little about Illuminati and um, I'm not going to go too far into the rabbit hole. My my thing about this is it is a rabbit hole. But one of the things that uh, I found interesting, just doing some brief research and I've looked into looked into it before. But if I can share this screen, I think you got to let me share it um, on Wikipedia. We'll just kind of look at this. So the Illuminati is a name given to several groups, both real and fictitious. Right. So I thought that was interesting that. Uh, Wikipedia, and you can you can have your thoughts on Wikipedia, but they mentioned the real and fictitious group called the Illuminati. I thought it was also interesting that supposedly it was founded in May uh, 1776 and uh, a few months before America was founded. And, you know, there's a rabbit hole there with Freemasonry and the founding fathers being influenced or participating in that. But they don't deny that it is a thing or that it is a... Um, a group of people at the end of the day, they're just people. But um, I guess that's the thing that we're talking about now, because these, these things are more in the the mainstream than, uh, than they've been in the past. So, and um, yeah, we're, we're seeing more symbology, more commercials, more performances, and it makes you wonder what is the intention of it and why the public um, public displays now. So, because but before they were more secretive, but now it seems at least the symbology is is more public. But again, I, I feel it's a rabbit hole. I don't know how Ken feels about it. Um, I, at the end of the day, I think these are just just people, just groups, just a fraternity, if you will. But people, groups, or fraternities can get together and conspire. It's not a conspiracy theory. People do get together to uh, um, uh, to put out their own agenda, and so. I think this could be potentially one of those groups. Yep. All right. So I got a quick video we're going to share here in a second. Uh, See if I can get it. The Illuminati is that shadowy cabal that controls the entire world and ensures free wills and illusion. They've got a big Facebook page. Celebrities like Jay-Z are accused of being members. And there are weird YouTubers like this guy. They had weirdos standing up everywhere. And then Beyonce, show a document cam shot of this if you can. She does the Illuminati symbol. What, tell folks what you saw. I'm but what about the real history of the Illuminati and how it became what it is today? This is Bavaria. And in 1776, Adam Weishaupt, a law professor, founded the Illuminati. It's real. He wanted to spread enlightenment ideals around the world. The goal was to infiltrate the monarchy and make them more enlightened by entering their ranks. Even though they were so high-minded, they had weird rituals. See these owls? The Illuminati really loved them. And they had invented hierarchies like novice, minerval, and illuminated. Even though they were weird, they did have some success around the world. Anywhere from 650 to 2,800 members infiltrated Freemason chapters, may have had influential members like the writer Goethe, and even might have influenced the Jacobins, the political club that spurred the French Revolution to its most radical heights. But they were destroyed in 1785. This is Carl Theodore. He was the Duke of Bavaria, and that year he banned secret societies. That included the Illuminati. Most historians think that it worked, and the Illuminati disappeared. But if that's true, then why do we still think Drake's Illuminati today just because he wears owl sweaters? Since the beginning, conspiracy theories have been part of the Illuminati. This guy, Xavier von Zwack, actually did have plans to take over the world that were found after the Illuminati was banned. American historians and preachers thought the Illuminati planted some seeds for the French Revolution, and George Washington even wrote a letter that claimed the Illuminati had once been a threat. But the Illuminati lost the limelight thanks to the Freemasons. 
This is George Washington as a Freemason, and a lot of founding fathers really were Freemasons. That inspired the anti-Masonic party. It was a legitimate movement with big names like John Quincy Adams, and the Illuminati paranoia faded around the world. So how did the myth stay alive? There were always random books like this one from 1918 or book reviews that mentioned the Illuminati, but most people think the Illuminatus book trilogy of the 1970s deserves credit for bringing the Illuminati back. It might also be why weird secret symbols like these pyramids and triangles are associated with the Illuminati. It was a funny series and gave new life to the conspiracy for an ironic, connected age. They were an evil organization bent on ruling the world, sure, but they were also kind of funny. The Illuminati was vague enough to be refit to any purpose, from the New World Order, to religious paranoia, to pop culture curio like angels and demons. It became a joke. But you might believe that's what the Illuminati wants you to think if you notice the 14 evil yellow triangles of power hidden inside this video. The Illuminati really only endures because it's disappeared and can look like anything. There's nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. <laughs> so, shout outs to the Box channel. Uh, interesting video they did there. I uh, wanted to show you guys a little bit of history on the Illuminati. And what, what do y'all think? Do y'all think they're still around in the U.S.? Uh, hit it in the comments. Let us know what y'all think. I uh, got one more video for you guys. If y'all didn't see this at the Super Bowl, it's uh, pretty interesting. It is the Doritos commercial. Let's go ahead and show that to y'all right now. Bear with me. Triangle player of the year goes to that was that was awesome that was fabulous. I think that was a good rendition for the triangles. So what do y'all think? You think the Illuminati is still around, MJ? You think you think this is all a facade, or you think it's a, a mind control? Are they real? Are they controlling stuff? What, what what's your opinion? My opinion is um, maybe not under that name, but I, I do think there are select group of people that are trying to manipulate things. Whether they're called Illuminati is I don't think they're probably called Illuminati, but um, I think they use that as a distraction potentially. <laughs> That's a good call, I think. Uh, my personal opinion is uh, this is all sidetracked information. It's all look over here while we do this over here. It's trying to uh, blame blame a group of people who are not doing anything um, as far as the name is concerned. But I'm with you. I think somebody's controlling this world and this, uh, this situation. And it may not be the Illuminati, but it's, uh, it's one of those things that you uh, – uh, it's a magic trick, my opinion. Yeah. I feel uh, I feel pretty insecure in saying that, though. To be honest, I don't really know, and uh, we're just talking about what we see. The Sam Smith thing was pretty, pretty disturbing to me. Uh, but as far as the uh, the group, the Illuminati, I, I don't know if they exist or they exist the way that they say they do. We'll see what happens. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. But if they did exist, then it's good. I mean, they're doing a good job of staying in the shadows and it's probably beneficial to put their stuff out there and make it a conspiracy to uh, to help them stay in the shadows. So, I mean, if they do exist, I think it's it's pretty smart for them to put all the symbology out so that if you do see someone doing that, you can right. say, oh, well, I saw that in the Doritos commercial or whatever, whatever. Right, right. Yeah, I think, um, I think it's definitely uh, a misdirection. 
I, I also think that it's definitely possible that they are out there. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm not sure. Good, good misinformation. This is the age of misinformation. This is the age of fake news. This is the age of um, deception, uh, misinformed. This, this is the age of all that stuff. So what do you guys think? Uh, again, put in the comments, leave us a message. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to you with it. I appreciate y'all listening and watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and, and share and subscribe. Um, hit the notifications button because I can promise you one thing. With all this talk that we're talking about with the Ukraine and Illuminati's and clones and Matrix baby pods and uh, devil worship, uh, we're not going to get a lot of views uh, to be recommended by the algorithm. So if y'all want to hear more about this and, and, and just keep your feeds live, uh, hit the notification button. Again, appreciate y'all watching. Till next time, surrender, seek truth, and let go. Goodbye for now.